Prince Philip, 98, is a key member of the royal family and, as such, has to follow a plethora of rules. There is one major travel regulation that the Duke of Edinburgh has flouted on several occasions. Prince Philip has enjoyed plenty of travel over his long lifetime, sometimes with the Queen and sometimes alone. The Duke of Edinburgh and the rest of the royal family were banned from visiting one country in particular for many years. However, the rule was broken by Prince Philip on more than one occasion. For decades members of the royal family have been prohibited from an official visit to Israel. The long-standing ban between the countries has been in place since 1948 and dates back to the end of the British mandate over Palestine. Although this coolness was taken to be hostile behavior, the Foreign Office insisted the ban was necessary and acted as disapproval of Israel's policies. According to The Independent, the Foreign Office feared that allowing a member of the royal family to set foot in the country back in 1994, would be viewed as condoning the occupation of the Arab sector which the UK deemed illegal. There have, however, been a couple of occasions in which this rule has been broken by Prince Philip. The Duke of Edinburgh arrived in the country back in 1994 to attend a Yad Vashem ceremony honoring his mother, Princess Alice of Battenberg. It was the first time a British royal had visited since the Jewish state since colonial rule in 1948. The princess saved Jews during the Holocaust by allowing them to seek refuge in her palace in Greece. Princess Alice died in 1969 and was first buried in St. George's Chapel in Windsor. Later, as per her request, she was moved to the Mount of Olives in East Jerusalem to be near her Aunt Elizabeth. However, Prince Philip's visit to Israel was considered a personal trip, not an official one, was a low-profile affair. Prince Charles has also visited Israel while the ban was in place in 2016 for former President Shimon Peres's funeral. As with Philip, the British government made it clear this was a personal trip and that it was not to be taken as a political statement. Last year, the UK's snub of Israel came to an end when Prince William visited the Middle Eastern country. The visit was seen by Israelis and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as a significant moment. Kensington Palace released a statement to say that the formal visit was at the request of Her Majesty's government and has been welcomed by the Israeli, Jordanian and Palestinian authorities. One speculated reason for the thawing of relations was that the relationship between Israel and the UK became warmer under former UK Prime Minister Theresa May than her predecessor, David Cameron. No doubt Prince Philip was glad that his secretive trips to Israel were undertaken by plane, he has previously had strong words to say about traveling by train. In 1952, before the Queen ascended to the throne, the then Princess and Philip traveled to Canada on a royal tour, much of which was undertaken by train. I feel like a poached egg. I just can't breathe on trains, the Duke announced as he disembarked in Vancouver, Robert Hartman recounted in his book Queen of the World. Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth II have been married for over seven decades. And even though they are the epitome of a happy marriage, there are still some rumors suggesting that Duke of Edinburgh was once unfaithful to his wife. On the online forum site Quora, one royal fan asked other people if they think Prince Philip had been totally faithful to Her Majesty. Marla Lynn said that she thinks the dad of four wasn't always faithful to his wife because he wasn't intended to be monogamous. Lynn also claimed that there have been rumors suggesting that Prince Philip is fathering another girl that looks just like Princess Anne. During the early part of the Queen's marriage, Philip took the ship Britannica for about six months along with his friend, Parker, who himself was married. The Queen did not go along but stayed behind doing her job as Queen. On the ship were many gorgeous women amid lots of partying in which Prince Philip heartily participated. The ship was gone so long that Parker's wife sent word saying if he did not return, she would divorce him, the royal fan said. But it is important to note that none of these claims have been confirmed or denied by the royal couple or the Buckingham Palace. Meanwhile, Sharon and Cummins Roy said the opposite. The royal fan thinks that Prince Philip didn't have the chance to be unfaithful to his wife because they were always together. He had plenty of opportunities to spend time with whomever he wished when he was in the Royal Navy before they became engaged, married, 
and Elizabeth became queen they spent time a young married couple out of the glare of the prying eyes of the press and lived abroad. If ever there was a time and opportunity it would have been then but it seems they only have ever had eyes for each other, she said.